I'm writing a paper on performance enhancing drugs for a class in health. first place I'm going to look for information on is Google to see if there's been any recent stories on performance enhancing drugs um, I'm going to look in the news section facts about it. After I look at the facts, I gotta go back the news section look at people that have recently got in trouble for it um, then I'm gonna go to Georgia Southern Library and find the Galileo I found it. Um, now I'm going to look for articles on performance enhancing drugs that are scholarly and peer reviewed Click on this article. Academic journal is peer reviewed, so I know it's true. Actually, it's not there. I'm going to do the full text only. I would use this source because it is um, peer reviewed and it gives a great background on um, performance enhancing drugs and lets people know what it, the effects are. I would copy and paste that link into a Word document to save it and know where I got my information from. Click on this because it has an argument against performance enhancing drugs.
So we might show two salads. this article because it shows uh, someone's argument against performance enhancing drugs and how they would create more problems with using them and I would save that in the same word document as the last one so I would know where I got it from chose this article because it has psychological effects of performance enhancing drugs instead of just physical effects. Now I'm going to look for information on Google Scholar. search people that are for performance enhancing drugs on this article because it shows why we it is saying why we should allow performance enhancing drugs in the sport which is an opposing view to some and I would copy this link and put it with the other two This is another commentary on towards responsible use of cognitive enhancing drugs by the healthy. So, not just steroids, other drugs too that are performance enhancing. I would use this article to um, portray another view on the whole subject. <clears throat> I would pair for some write a summarization of these articles first and take down key notes from all of them then create an outline and write my paper then go back and cite my sources correctly from the document earlier and create a bibliography using the links I have and then write my paper alright I think I'm done
Okay, so I am writing a paper on the effectiveness of a particular ad um, by a Gucci fragrance line called Gucci Guilty. Um, and this is for an English 1101 class. Wow. Uh, apparently, I can't spell Google. Great. What is this? Okay. Okay. So it is for these two ads in particular, which appeared in Vogue magazine. Um. All right, so the first place I usually look for for information is Google. I mean, simply because of the fact that, I don't know, I just like variety. Um, let's see, I determine, well, I begin my research process by determining my standpoint and like what my argument is. So <clears throat> my argument is that the ad is effective due to um, their advertising their advertisement team's use of um, rhetorical appeals to pathos. So any time that, you know, an, adver an advertisement is made, they're trying to um, basically aim for their consumers psychologically when it comes to pathos. Uh, yeah, because pathos is, in fact, one of the strongest rhetorical appeals and let's see I'm going to mm, trying to think research something in the topic of psychology that's related to pathos oh what is this okay bye bye um okay all right we're gonna look up Maslow's heresy of needs hierarchy of needs, however you pronounce it. Okay, and I'm going to click on this first one rather than the Wikipedia one. I know that one's not reliable, but I like this website in particular. I feel like this is going to be a good one, one because it's .org. Um, all right, so I'm not going to read all of this because I'm already familiar with the topic. Basically, the heresy of needs is a model that indicates all the fundamentals of you know what a human being needs to reach self-actualization and included in that is a social aspect which is you can see right here um, and this includes basically um, love you know self-esteem you know being around others being accepted feeling wanted by others um, so I would probably include the definition or like what exactly the heresy of needs is and like quote the definition. Um, and then I probably like cite this source in particular by copy and pasting this link and going to easy bit. Ah, okay. And I am copying and pasting its URL. And it does it all for me. Well, I still have to enter a little bit more information. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, data access publisher. <clears throat> okay, it says it tells me the year it was published. Let's see if we can find who actually published this. Usually that's at the bottom. Oh, well this site basically already gives you the APA style citation okay but usually I do use easy bit so but in this case forget that um, 
yeah, that's how I would cite the definition that I'm going to use from this page to define Maslow's heresy of needs. Um, and the reason the reason why I'm including this particular definition is because it's basically a well-trusted psychological theory um, that is still used today and it's been used for a really long time so I know it's credible and it basically just shows that human beings are emotional beings and that the people that created the Gucci Guilty ad was effective at ultimately accomplishing their goal of making I guess the most sales by appealing emotionally to their target market which is men and women ranging from adolescents to I would say middle adulthood so yeah that's how I do it and usually like to keep up with all my sources I would um, open up a word document And basically like copy and paste all of the URLs that I go to that I decide to use so that I could go back later on and you know just transfer them to EasyBib or you know if it's actually a hard copy book or something which I usually don't use but yeah so that's basically what I do find my argument find something that supports it something that's credible not just anything and then I cite it and I make sure that I include I guess kind of like a I restate it in a way like in words of my own after I cite it just to you know let the readers know that I understand it um, I guess you could say I paraphrase it and yeah that's about it <laughs>